Hello, I'm Chris Edmonds of the Purposeful Culture Group. Here's today's culture leadership charge for Smart Brief. What if one of your highest performers began missing key meetings, having public screaming matches with peers and senior leaders, and throwing items around the work environment in fits of rage? <laughs> How would the leaders of your organization respond today? Would they engage in prompt redirection, coaching the person to stop the tantrums and treat others respectfully, no matter what the issue is? Or might they go the other direction? They'd ignore that toxic behavior because they're afraid of missing out on the production that person generates? Up to now, if you're the leaders of the NFL's Pittsburgh Steelers, you look the other way. Wide receiver Antonio Brown has done all those things and more over the past couple of seasons. Last month, Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin told his team that we'll tolerate it because of the performance on the field. Tomlin reached a breaking point and benched the star for this year's final regular season game. Recently, Brown is asked to be traded. Will he behave respectfully on his next team? We'll soon see. Now, you and I have seen similar scenarios in our workplaces. A top performer's toxic behavior is often ignored, which provides tacit approval that the bad behavior is not that big a deal. Allowing disrespectful behavior, bullying, etc., by any player in your organization has significant negative impact. Each of my big three desirable business outcomes takes a big hit. Over time, across the organization, employee engagement drops, customer service drops, and results and profits drop. And when the toxic player is a senior leader, the negative impact is much, much greater. What should leaders do to nip this in the bud? Well, they have three options. First, they can ignore the behavior. And if a player's bad behavior is not addressed, it's not gonna get better. Second, they can fire or trade the toxic player. Now, that stops that person's bad behavior, but it doesn't ensure that others won't behave badly since you've tolerated bad behavior in the company up to now. Third, and the best approach, <laughs> coach the player to effective interactions. Describe the specific behaviors, respectful treatment of others in every interaction that you require. Coach them to align to those behaviors. If coaching solves the problem, that's terrific. If, however, coaching doesn't change their behavior, lovingly set them free. They can't stay if they don't treat others respectfully in every interaction. What have I missed? What questions do you have? Head to my YouTube channel to add your thoughts or post your questions.